Hi everyone, let me show you some cool stuff with uh, Flex Gateway, MCP and A2A. So what I built is uh, a MCP server for um, search tools. So using Google API and um, the Serper API. So this uh, MCP tool has been published into Exchange the moment I secured it in Flex Gateway. And you can see the moment it's published in Exchange, you have the possibility to fully describe it, what it provides and so on. So the details are provided here. And also you can at any time request access to this MCP uh, server uh, in the same manner like you have been uh, requesting access to APIs which were fully uh, managed. So this is something which I created um, MCP server as well as the agent, which is just a search agent in this case, are fully deployed on Cloud Hub. Um, and I have secured them uh, with different policies. So let's take a look on MCP policies. What I'm having here is a um, couple of policies I've enabled. So you can see schema validation is there. Of course, I have the client ID enforcement. So everything uh, which is behind uh, the MCP endpoint requires uh, a client ID and secret. And I've also enabled attribute-based access control. Let's take a look what does this mean. Uh, so first of all, you can see I have provided headers here. Uh, these headers are holding my client ID and secret. Um, and I have two clients. So one client has the ability to see all the tools I have on the MCP server. The second client, based on its uh, client ID, is able to see a certain number of tools, which will be one. Yeah? The MCP server currently hold, holds two tools. So client A is going to see and access both of them. So let's go and connect to the um, MCP server using Postman. And here you can see I have these two tools available. I can see it, I can do the search via Serper API or Google API, um, because I'm now accessing the MCP client with the client ID enforcement for client A. The second thing would be from client B. Here I've limited it just for the search Serper API tool. Uh, so this client B can only access and see um, this type of uh, tool from the MCP server. How did I do it? So with the attribute based access control, what we are enabling is something called Cedar expressions. And Cedar expression can help you to uh, provide exactly the expression you need to hide tools or permit tools. So what I'm doing here is I'm currently on doing hard coded uh, the client ID of the first client and I say this client ID is able to have access on all the tools available. So I have only two tools, so I'm listing them out. And for the other one, I'm just saying the second client ID will only have access to the search server. Yeah, and that's it. Basically, you save it, it's there. So where do you find documentation about it? So you can go to Google and search for CEDAR policies. You will see here CEDAR language. And here it's exactly described how to use this uh, CEDAR language and expression to create attribute-based access control policies from any point API manager. Yeah. So this is actually here, which I used. And then the other ones are schema validation and client enforcement, which uh, I already demonstrated. So that's number one. So you are fully securing your MCP uh, server with different access to the resources. And not only that, you are governing the whole consumption part, right? So every consumer of that MCP server will need to request access. It's discoverable as part of your uh, enterprise. 
every MCP server you are either building within MuleSoft or outside of MuleSoft is available here. And same goes for all the agents you have created with A2A. Um, those are also available. So same approach, you can publish your agents here and they are fully documentable. So you can document it here. And the same approach you will take then uh, in order to govern them through policies. And here you can also see I have a couple of policies applied. If I would like to access this uh, agent, uh, I have here the PII detector, which just sees and checks if there is an email in the prompt. And I have a rate limiting. Um, and whenever you find emails in the prompt, it will tell you exactly that there was something detected based on the policy. You can reject it as well. I'm for now only uh, logging it. But let me show you also this one. Okay, here it is. So call agent. And in the call agent, you can see I have here, I'm sending information about it. So it will be logged. But what I want to show is the number of the request being fired within a certain time frame, and I have rate limiting activated on that specific agent, which you can see here that I get all those headers returned. So two requests are left. I can now continue another request with Postman, then it will turn this to one. So now it, yeah, it had reset it. So now I have 51 seconds. So let's do it again. I was playing with it before. So 42 seconds until it will reset the rate limiting. And now the last one is used. And I, I will show you also the response just here. So it does what I'm asking it by using the different tools. And if I do it now, you see too many requests. So I have to wait the time listed here 15 seconds until I can fire the next request and this is also again pretty cool what MuleSoft has released here with the flex gateway policies um, you can apply either all the A2A policies or even switch to existing policies provide uh, external uh, authentication you can override the agent card introduce JVT validation and so on. Um, this is pretty nice and help you to manage your agents also through a central uh, pane of glass um, to publish any type of agent here, regardless where they are built. I hope this was uh, insightful for you uh, to see where and what MuleSoft has been releasing in the last few months and how you can apply this into your agentic journey. Thanks a lot.